Okay, um, we're back, and we're off to medical. Yep, 50% of the way there. Huh. Looks like someone tried to wipe all the AR crew records from the station, but a few couldn't be deleted. System shows the ones left behind were being accessed at the time of the wipe. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, two days ago. Alright, let's rec recover this data. Okay. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright. Good speed. Hold on. Sarah, Roberta, and Natalie. Okay. All right. Good speed. Where's everyone gonna go? Once okay. more and oh. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data is formatted for the descent of the AI's use. Not. But it's gonna need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's on control, so. Navigation code itself, interpret the data, and display its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pirate. Expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed, yes. Uh, I understand I will prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software and... Okay. cryo facility facilities active. Two of the six cryopods occupy. We have 50 hours, okay. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. But I just want to say that I think you're a really good station admin. No matter how I acted, I want you to know I'm not going to let you down. It's very sweet, man. I appreciate it. I need to see you on the other side. Shit. Shit. Okay. To the breach? What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Evie and Clive. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before. Oh, there's a key. Need a key for this. Before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraged. Hold on. Is there anything else that's interesting here? Uh, not really. Urging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turn to go, just for a second... They look so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking... What if the last time they saw each other... Is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so... You know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like... Jet the fuck is that noise? ...data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something... ...one... ...so... Oh! So, you know the concept yeah, yeah, show of partitioning me. from early century computing? Yeah, I think early so. Early century So, computing. you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and yeah. the other one was like oh, yeah, I'm familiar with data this. storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise huh. kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things they need to be partitioned off. Thinking about them isn't going to help us. But you're thinking about us at least aren't you yeah and when i do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together too Not. then i start thinking we should really make the most of it <laughs> ah. interesting okay Oh, 
Hey, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh, there's yours. To all crew, Tacoma is remaining. Oxygen, maybe? So, to everyone left awake in t on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Pulling the algae bloom and EV and Clive going to cry out. That counter should give you a pretty good. Keep an eye on it. And. Oh. Let's see if we can get this. Yes, we did. Okay. Hey, ladies, your scans look good. You're clear for cryo. If, God forbid, into the pods. Attaching the same standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Patients, in the case of a medical emergency when surgical or other required medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at link. Preparation medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen for fluids to be administered by intravenous doses of diuretics and laxatives and given time for your body to react to them before. Medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facility is at your location in microgravity, medical staff will have special training to a abdomen or oh, whatever. Whatever. Damn. Damn. Okay, 50 hours remain here. Oh, Odin. We, um... Maybe the key's in here. Okay. Huh. Confederacy of North American Agri-Power Producers. What the fuck? Okay. Bioscan record pin updated. Let's go. Please enter a code reminder phrase. Graduation. Okay, I gotta write that down. Uh, so obviously I gotta do something with graduation here. Oh wait, is that the date that I grad that she graduated? License issue date, twenty seventy eight. Wait, she got this when she was eighteen years old. Graduation. Wait, hold on. I'm confused. Why does date of birth here say 0509-2054, but that says date of birth 0711-2060? I'm confused. Contractor Hasmati, I would like to remind you that while you're posting contract on lunar transfers, which is currently up for renewal, there are many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, 2085, upon the foundation of uh, the Fountain of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there will be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities with Venturis would be significantly improved. I'll take the renewal, thanks. What happened at the Fountain of Paradise? Shoot. Issued Madison Wiss. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Okay, well... Has conferred upon Sarah the degree of doctor in the year 2080. Okay, okay, so she, it was 2080 that she got that. So... Key is not in here, unfortunately, but we do have Did some information. Right in what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? And what?
They can't do that for me because I'm not a. S okay. Medical staff eyes only twenty. Recent body scans. Okay. Roberta Williams, age 27. Wow, everyone's like young. Well, she's young. I don't know about him. Like, he's probably not that young. She's very healthy. Um, standard immuno antiviral schedule AC, addictive substance resistance IV. Menstrual suppression, blood type tailoring. Huh. Menstrual suppression? Why? Interesting. Does she just have like a very strong flow? Is. When it, it is just. Does she have a very bad fall to the communists? Like, I don't know. Cryogenic stasis for structure is none. Patients with no physical symptom might lead to injury or fall out. Okay, so you you're pretty good at being cryogenically frozen. Ooh, bad heart. Bad. Oh no. Twenty three. Heart murmur. Probable mitral stenosis patients with clear signs of cardiovascular abnormality heart murmur this condition represents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18 percent patient is not recommended for cryogenic stasis physicians should consider alternative methods of treatment oh no that's not good andrew dagab uh no physical okay so it's mainly her that has the issue hello mr. bones in the closet with mr. bones okay what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart God. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh, send him in. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled huh. hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. What the fuck is that? Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? It, uh... Oh, oh, this is still... It doesn't hurt. No. After 72 hours, just die. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. That didn't sound good. Um, there's a drawer, and here's the key. Ooh, okay, first off, let's put the key down right here so we know where that is later. Gum, coconut, lemon. That sounds good. Um, nail polish looks okay. Notebook. February twentieth. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say that I don't feel still feel guilty. It's just slower than it used to be, but it's still there all the time. Odin says this counts as grief, even though I never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? 
most of them. Is this what happened in the fountain of whatever? Okay, let's. Minimum three hours of extra courage. Okay. Oh, that was when they bumped into each other like that. Okay, I see now. What's this say? New York Times, Sunday, September 15th, 2086. Ventura settles with family of spaceport victim. Following a lengthy independent investiga oh, investigation court case, the Ventura's Corporation has reached a settlement with the family of Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for a fractured firmer following an accident aboard Ventura's Fountain of Paradise spaceport on September 2nd, 2085. The value of the settlement was undisclosed. As part of the settlement's term, which has made no wrongdoing in the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations damage was already done by the incident. While OCP's independent investigation was inconclusive, the attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Hasmati, testified during multiple hearings that fault lay not in human error, but in the faulty judgment of Ventures' medical AI, HECA. Medical AI, HECA. Oh yeah, because is, is this still like using some of the names from like Nordic folklore and like mythology? Is HECA a name? Because Ferrer is, right? Like that's me, that's my, the character I play as. And Odin, the AI. Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OCEP's investigation, investor confidence in the reliability of Ventures' AI offerings declined sharply and hasn't fully recovered since... Dr. Hismani was transferred off of the Fountain of Paradise spaceport shortly after the hearings began. Mr. Pratt was a popular travel and food writer. During his death and the subsequent hearings surrounding it added attention from the public. Both the Ventures Corporation and Mr. Pratt's family declined to comment from the story. Damn. So that's what happened. Well, I'm glad this tells, this tells me what's up. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? <laughs> um, dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but accident on the ship. If you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it, and I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be able to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together, but don't forget me. I know that I loved you more than I and I'm sorry, Odin. I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Jeez. Drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system. No onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. I'm going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way, in a way that won't break the station. And hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So, I really need to get back to it. Sorry. Thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Dear crew, I'd rather not be writing this. Clive and I... Not... Not why I wish we were signing these words. It is because, above all, I believe in this crew. And I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We are the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel... It. Earth's pull again together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle into cryo. Soon, Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat are all count. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. I'm gonna be in better hands with love and gratitude. Evie St. James and Clive Siddiqui. Uh, frequently asked questions. While Ventura strives to ensure the safety of each of its contractors, in case that contractor dies, transport and remains of funeral arrangements are paid for by Ventura's loyalty and any. Semester and are immediately transferred to the contract to special specified beneficiary. To start crew. Okay. Okay. So. Me. I will tell her that you are here. So we saw everything. So that answers that. Data process complete. Hell yeah. 
Luckily, even with the attempted data wipe, Odin appears to be mentally intact, just dormant. We're having to pull a full picture of the data structure. We're close to having a full picture of the data structure. Okay. Alright, well, let's take it then. We got some data out of this. Some good old fashioned data. Okay. Proceed immediately to engineering module. Once the AI data is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Okay. So, engineering. So we're going to engineering now, okay. That's fine. Whee! Oh, this was interesting. We're getting a better idea of what's going on, but... We're definitely missing something key here. Oh, now it's back to zero, zero. Engineering, huh? Cryogenics. This is this way to the Tacoma Dome. Do you do not cross? Well, we're gonna have to go to cryo eventually, right? Engineering access. Let's go down. Let's see what's happening down here. Orbital vacation bungalows. Bungalow. Zero gravity, zero distractions. Uh, oh, oh, ally allies? What the fuck was that? Why did it switch to allies? Is Odin trying to like send a message to me? To engineering. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's put this bad boy in here. Okay. Engineering. Almost there. Be careful with that Odin brain. It has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. Okay, seriously though. Don't drop it. This is H again. Okay, bye. Okay. Network technology or... Oh, I can't even enter that. It's broken. I gotta find a way to open that up, I guess. Oh. Alright, well, I know it's, I know this is going to be a short one, but I feel like this is going to be a longer session here, so let's, uh, let's cut this one short, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.